Hello everyone. Let's begin with the second chapter, The Shocking Arrival. The name itself says that this chapter is about an arrival of an elephant in the life of Adrian. It was a shocking arrival as he never expected that he would be gifted an elephant by his uncle. Now in this story we can see that there's a carter. You can see the picture that there's a carter. He's here and he has to deliver this elephant, baby elephant to Mr. A. Rukwissel. Now Mr. A is mm -hmm. Adrian here. So this elephant was supposed to be delivered to him. Now Adrian is quite shocked. The moment he saw the elephant, he is shocked as he had, you know, uh, no place to keep this elephant. Now this elephant is named as Rosie. She was shackled inside the dray by two chains padlock round her front legs. And they made a musical clanking noise when she moved. The moment Adrian looked at the elephant, he found out that it was a drunken acrobat. Now, the carter was really annoyed, irritated, and he really wanted Adrian to take the elephant off his cart so that he can move on. He told him that, see, I was merely engaged to deliver this animal to you. I haven't even had my breakfast and I need to move on. However, Adrian requested Carter and said that you just can't leave me in the street with an elephant. He said that he doesn't have enough place where he can keep an elephant. Therefore, he requested that if it is possible for him he want him to deliver the same elephant to a different address. He thought of Mr. Pucklehammer. He thought that he's a nice man. He's a kind man. And he thought that he has enough place in his yard where he can easily keep Rosie. On Adrian's request, Carter agreed to take the elephant to Mr. Pucklehammer's yard. The carter shouted to his horses, they strained forward and the massive dray rumbled down the road. Adrian pacing feverishly beside it. Now Mr. Pucklehammer, he was a kind of a jolly man. He was sitting on the coffin, consuming another pint of beer. When Adrian saw Mr. Pucklehammer, he told him that you're the only one who can save me. I need place where I can keep my elephant. Mr. Pucklehammer was a kind man. He agreed and he allowed him to keep his elephant in his yard. Now the carter, he handed the keys to Adrian and he said that it's a tame elephant. You can keep it here. Now, Mr. Pucklehammer thought of getting something to eat for the elephant. They were confused whether to get some buns or oats. However, later on, Mr. Pucklehammer thought it's better that he should get a cheese sandwich. He went in and returned with a large cheese sandwich, which he handed to Adrian. Adrian was little scared. However, he approached Rosie's place. Rosie stopped swaying and watched him approach with twinkling eyes. When Adrian was in Rosie's reach, she stretched out her trunk and with utmost speed and delicacy, she removed Adrian's hat and placed it on her head. Adrian was alarmed. He jumped and in panic, he stepped on Carter's foot. He had no intention to wicked the drake. 
Now Carter was really annoyed and he said that he haven't had anything since morning. Now Mr. Bucklehammer thought he should get a sandwich and a pint of beer for uh, Carter as well. He went in and he came out again with a sandwich, with a large cheese sandwich and a pint of beer in his hand. Now the moment Rosie saw the trunked, she made a loud sound, jumped out of the tray, took the trunked and drank or we can say pour all the contents into her mouth. So Rosie drank all the beer that was there for Carter. Now this chapter is actually about Adrian and how he receives the shocking arrival of an elephant named Rosie in his life. She was a drunken acrobat which was left to him, left for Adrian by his uncle.